You ready? Alright guys, it is day one of vacation. Uh, we are in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, and we just got done with the workout, so that's why my cheeks are rosy. Um, Eli booked us a really nice hotel. This is way more bougie than I would have ever booked for us, but he booked Hilton Head and I booked Savannah. So well, I'm anxious to see if my hotel is any bit as nice as this one, but we have an ocean view, uh, as you saw in the last clip, um, in North Carolina, our gyms are still not open for the next five weeks, which is, I will hold my opinions off on that. But, um, there's just something about being in a gym that motivates you to work out. I can tell you I've lost motivation to work out really. So this was a really good start to our vacation. I know some people probably think we're crazy that we went and did that, but honestly, it makes me feel really good. I'm about to put on my bathing suit and go swim at the pool or the beach. So hopefully I could insert some clips here. Eli is getting him some breakfast and I will see you guys by the water. So we made it to Savannah. This is, I uh, don't think you can really see, oh, there it is. You can see it now. Um, the background, we are on the seventh floor of Hotel Indigo, which is very close to the river and very much downtown Savannah. And we got here yesterday. I didn't really get a lot of footage yesterday, as you saw in the video. Um, hopefully today we'll get to see really what Savannah has to offer because honestly yesterday did not go as expected. Like I think I was expecting it to be a lot like Charleston and just be clean and have a lot of charm. But we just had some weird stuff yesterday. Like when we checked in, the computers crashed. So that was a whole deal. The guy behind us was like super rude. We saw someone get arrested literally by our car. We almost got attacked by a dog. Um, <laughs> I mean, random stuff. It was literally hotter than the armpit of the devil. I kid you not, super, super hot. So that's why today, like, I packed so many cute, like, dresses and, and things, but I was so gross coming in last night from walking. I was like, I'm not even gonna try. I'm literally gonna wear shorts and a tank top because at this point, I don't even wanna, I don't, I would rather be comfortable than be miserable. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. I really need to straighten it. But we actually had a really slow morning this morning. We just got out of bed. Eli is in the shower. Um, yesterday in Hilton Head, we were just way more excited to get up and get the day started because there was like a pool and a beach and um, there was a gym. And this morning we slept in and decided we're gonna take it slow and we're gonna bite the bullet and pay like $60, $70 to go on a trolley tour. 
So hopefully the next clip you see is of us doing the trolley tour because they stop, I think, 15 places. It's like the 15 most visited, prettiest places in Savannah, and you have a ticket all day for the trolley. So essentially, you can hop on and off at all these places and then get back on the trolley to go other places so you're not just walking a ton. Like yesterday, we walked probably about 15,000 steps in total, um, plus going to the gym and being outside all day. So we were just exhausted last night. It was just like a whole nother level of exhaustion. That's why you can see like my, um, my birthmark, my vein just like popping out when I'm really, really tired. So yeah, hoping for the best today. Wish us luck. Um, I really want to like love Savannah. So I really hope today's the day where I get to like get some shots at some cool coffee shops and get some cool pictures and just enjoy another day on vacation. So I will keep you guys posted. Oh, the city, city man. He got heat stroke and died, leaving a widow with four young children. Mrs. Greenman um, wanted those children to be well educated, so that of that contract. 71. Neat thing about it, guys, it was never designed to handle passengers. It was designed exclusively for freight, primarily only cotton. Inside there is the Savannah Historic Museum, 250 years worth of history. But how long is he old now? It's just white house on my life. That is the Autumn Shop House. That house owned for a hundred years old. They just finished the restoration of the house. They restored all that as a private residence. That's the biggest guy. We got in the city. So we just got Leopold's ice cream and I got the perfect little scoop for me. And a perfect scoop for me. I mean, it's a little crooked, but it's still perfect. It's a sugar addict. Mine's Georgia peach though, and it is so good. Struggling. We do this a lot. Follow me. I know where to take it. Eli, do you know where we're going? No, I don't. Or no, it's, yeah, I do. Of course I do. And then it's, uh, follow me. <laughs> at least you put us at a prettier route this time. There's a reason that I got us here. Okay. Remember I said the prettier route was on the other side? Yep. Yeah, I Oh, this is where the uh, stuff was. <laughs> You really listen. It's historic for a reason. <laughs> this is where the stuff happened. This is our last day in Savannah. We are checking out of our hotel at 11 o'clock. Um, sitting here in the mirror doing my makeup currently. Uh, I have to give a shout out to Maddie because this foundation, it's like $10. And this foundation brush, which she actually bought me, is amazing. I honestly don't think I could do this heat with any other type of foundation because this one works really really well so i'm just sitting here doing my makeup and we are hoping to hit up foresight park 
and worms low today, but honestly, I got hit with really, really bad period cramps this trip. So that kind of <laughs> has made me a little less like energetic. So I don't know what all we're gonna be able to do, but we are driving home today. It's like four-ish, four and a half hours. So I guess it just depends on if we're feeling like just driving home or not. We have church tomorrow. So we'll do a little recap in the car about our trip and any recommendations we have. And hopefully you'll see a little bit of pretty nature from Wormslow and Foresight as our last clips of this video. Wormslow and these are the sites of the ruins from General Wormslow himself. The house that he built is made out of oyster shells, like a mix of oyster shells. Kind of cool. Um, loving the history, not loving the heat. I'm, ugh, I feel like I just constantly feel just gross and nasty and sweaty, but it is actually really, really pretty. So I do suggest it, but yeah. Maybe not in August.